What's up, everyone? So later tonight, in the undercard of uh, Lomachenko versus Lopez, the co-feature, the co-main event, will be this fight: Alex Sedo versus Arnold Barbosa. It's a, a very good fight. Um, I just thought I'd share uh, my quick thoughts before the actual fight, because the fight will be in like a couple hours. But anyway. Uh, it's a fight that you should tune in. Actually, the whole undercard is not so bad. Um, you know, they have some good up-and-coming fighters that they they're gonna be displaying in the undercard of this event, and um, you know why not and tune in, watch this fight, this event, the whole entire event. I will. Um, but this fight between uh, Sacedo and Barbosa will be a big test for both fighters. Uh, both fighters are in a position in their career where they could be fighting for a world title in the next year or so. I think within a year. If whoever wins this fight will probably fight for a world title within a year or within two years. You know, depending on the climate of the sport and all that and, you know, the pandemic going on and everything. But anyway, Alex Acero, if you guys don't know who he is, um, 26-year-old fighter from Oklahoma, originally from Mexico. 30 wins, 1 loss, 19 wins come by way of knockout TKO. One and only loss came from Morris Hooker back in 2018. Fought Morris Hooker in Oklahoma. Uh, Sacedo lost in front of his hometown fans by TKO in the seventh round. Tough loss for Sacedo, but since then he's rebounded and defeated the likes of Rod Salka and Sonny Fredrickson. And now here he is stepping up to fight an undefeated fighter in Arnold Barbosa Jr. And to my understanding, I think Sacedo is um, highly ranked under the WBO, I believe. And he's going against another highly ranked up and coming uh, top contender in Arnold Barbosa, who's undefeated, 28 years old from California, currently with 24 wins, 0 losses, 10 wins, come by way of Nakhar TKO. His uh, record is not super crazy. Uh, he has yet to fight, you know, big names. He's fought and defeated the likes of Mike Reed. Oh yeah, the Mike Alvarado fight. That that was a big win for Barbosa. That was a big, big win. I remember that fight. If you guys haven't seen the Mike Alvarado, yes, I'm talking about Mile High Alvarado. This guy, my Mike Alvarado. I know he was past his prime and old and everything, but I, you know, Mike Alvarado had a good winning streak before he fought Bar Arnold Barbosa. If you look at his winning streak since the Rios fight, and when you know Mike Alvarado decided to come back to the sport, he's won fight after fight and then he fought Arnold Barbosa Jr. and uh, you know Barbosa just wrecked him destroyed him in three rounds um, and since then he's you know he's won every single fight fought back in August against Tony Luis Luis and uh, Barbosa was able to win that fight um, you know he's been more active than no, actually oh shit the Sonny Fredrickson fight was back in June Hmm, I don't recall seeing that or hearing about it. But anyway, uh, here they are, both fighters in a position where they have to win. And in my opinion, <sighs> who will win this fight? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Barbosa, stylistically speaking, I think Barbosa, uh, it favors, this fight favors Barbosa, him being more of a boxer, in my opinion. Uh, Sacedo is more of a fighter. He will go out there and you know try to rough you up and try to get in the inside, try to get in fighting range. Um, you know, he's a tall, lengthy guy, but stylistically speaking, I think Barbosa edged this one. Like, 60-40 split in favor of Barbosa, in my opinion. But you never know, right? Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Both fighters look great at the weigh-ins, like I said earlier. Both fighters made weight. Both fighters weighed in at the limit of 140 pounds. Looks like they're ready to go. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to a great night of boxing. Looking forward to this fight. Looking forward to all the fights. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Do not forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.